you know, let, let's, let's speak some truth here in Albany, guys, okay? Gentlemen, ladies, let's talk about it. It's harder to make girls come than dudes. It's a fact. <laughs> ladies, it's not your fault. Guys, it's not our fault. Here's how I know it's true. The number one selling sex toy for women is called the rabbit. Anybody familiar with this product? Yeah, just 350 people in the room, really. They sold 12 million last year. Only four people in this room bought it, that's bullshit. You think they just skipped over the capital region on their marketing campaign? No. Mm -mm. Do you know what it is? Yeah. Right, it's got one dick coming up the middle. That's the, that's the sex toy, right? It's got one dick coming right up the middle. Regular dick. It's got veins on it. It's usually pink or purple for some reason. And then out of nowhere, it has another dick. <laughs> Coming up the side, a little thumb dick with rabbit ears on it. <laughs> Sir, be honest with me, right up front, how many dicks do you have? <laughs> Just one, dude, me too. <laughs> Why the hell does this thing have two dicks on it, ladies? That's not fair. 11 buttons on it, do you understand? 11, that's more buttons than a PlayStation 4 controller. Are you kidding me? <laughs> what do you need those buttons for? One of the buttons you hit it, it spins around in a circle like a drone helicopter. It comes three inches off the ground. It's got a hover feature. It comes with an extra remote so you can fly it into your girl's vagina. As long as you're FAA certified. You've got to fill out the form online, sir. Ladies, do you know what the number one selling sex toy for men is called? Thank you. It's a proud supporter. That's a flashlight influencer right there. A sponsored individual. The fleshlight. Do you know why it's called the fleshlight? It's not a riddle. It's just old flashlight parts. And they paste a vagina on the front, and we're just supposed to hit this thing dead on, just and then dump it out in the sink. That's all we get, ladies. It's disgusting. There's no buttons on ours. There's not even like a reservoir cup to catch the goo. It's gotta come back out the original hole. Just hang it upside down and pray for gravity. <laughs> they called up the Rayovac company from like 84. They're like, listen, we got an idea. Do you have any leftover canisters and flashlights? And they were like, we really, we do. We have a lot. You can have them. And then you can put whatever you want in the front flashlight guy. You know, right? You've seen the, the mods. You don't have to put a vagina. I don't want to discriminate. You can put a butthole, right? You can put little boobies. You can put a zombie mat, whatever you're into. Doesn't matter what you put in the front of it, you still gotta hit it dead on. Ah! Rinse it, dump it, put it back in its velvet box, slide it under the bed, and hope to God your girl never finds it. <laughs> Meanwhile, ladies, we come home and your thing's flying around the house. <laughs> put the feather duster on and it's cleaning off the fan blades. It's got a jackhammer feature on it. It's got a hand that goes through your hair. It whispers in your ear, tells you everything's gonna be fine. All right, you guys are a fun crowd, man. I appreciate you. 